Hey guys, so I found a beautiful spot here uh, by our pond and I have a little goodie bag that we're gonna talk about. So here I have a few things that you can eat, you, you can try to incorporate in your daily uh, you know, daily meals so you can be sure to have better skin. Uh, again, everything about food is something that we have to it's not something you do for just a week. It's something you have to do regularly, something you have to love, it's something you have to always think, okay, I wanna eat this or that. Next week I'll switch to this, but it's always in your mind. So variety, variety, and always whole foods. So it's fresh vegetables, fruits, um, something you prepare from scratch, nothing else is added, you know, no, no, um, no processed foods in there. So those are foods that we wanna have every single day and those are the foods that have to be the majority so um so i have my list here <laughs> uh, just some notes so i can keep myself on track and and excuse me for my sunglasses uh, the sun is hitting and i'm enjoying it uh, but i can't take them off so i'm gonna be like hey, like that so i really have to keep them on just so my eyes are not wrinkly <laughs> from the sun and of course, I have my skincare. I have it with SPF, so I can protect my skin. Sand is the biggest damage we accumulate throughout our lives, so we want to be aware of that. And sunglasses are actually nice to keep uh, our eyes nice, like the skin around our eyes, you know, normal. And because usually, if we, you know, squint, um, then it's kind of uh, not good for our skin. So. So where do we start? So vitamin C is very important for our skin. And not only, as we all probably know, vitamin C is a great antioxidant. It helps us when we have colds, um, when we are sick, when our immune system is down. So we always right away start to think, oh my God, we have to eat oranges, this and this. But actually there are other foods that contain a lot of vitamin C that we can incorporate in our daily meals for example bell peppers bell peppers actually have more vitamin c than orange and obviously less sugar <laughs> which is great uh, 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 even though orange is a, is a natural sugar but any sugar you want to kind of uh, you still want to limit it uh, so let's see and i have a mini bell pepper in my goodie bag and i love this bell pepper so they come in the bag and you can get different colors. The only thing is, I find it's hard to find organic bell peppers. So I'm always, you know, when I see organic, I buy just a few bigger ones, but I still like these little ones. They're so sweet. And what I do is I usually cut them up. I cut it in half and I, and I always, always have them in my salad. So I always have this big bag in my fridge. And every time I have a salad, I make sure I have some bell peppers. So this is my, I know I, every day I ingest um, some amount of vitamin C and it's natural and it's well absorbed and in, in the, our salads we usually have some uh, olive oil or some you know like avocado or something and that's oil it helps to a lot of nutrients to get absorbed and, di and, and get uh, digested well because there are some vitamins um, that need to be ingested with some fat natural uh, sorry <laughs> um, like uh, fat from um, plants or fat from animal but in our in my salad I usually have plant oil so it's either olive oil or sunflower seed oil extra virgin so bell peppers so where else vitamin C vitamin C is also found in strawberries and lots of it. The only thing you always want to make sure you have organic strawberries. Strawberries do tend to, you know, uh, uh, have a lot of uh, pesticides and stuff from uh, when they were grown. So you you want to try to have organic. Um, and of course, you know, we always all know oranges are good, grapefruits and stuff. So you think. Think through what you have in your fridge and what you can have, and then you know. Okay, I had my I had say, foods with vitamin C, but I find salads are easy because you pack everything in. So my bell pepper is always in the salad. 
Next one in my um, booty bag is the lemon. So lemon, really good for us. The zest, of course, organic. And you wanna have, um, you can have a little bit of zest everywhere. If you hear that background noise, this is my son in the stroller and my camera is right on the stroller and he's supposed to sleep, but he doesn't wanna sleep yet. So he's not crying, that's all right. Anyway, back to the topic. So lemon, uh, we all try to have a little bit of zest on your salad. That's another way to get a lot of phytonutrients and, and stuff. Uh, what I usually do with my lemon, I always have lots of lemons in my fridge, is half of the lemon goes uh, half... Uh, <laughs> how do I say that? Um, juice of half of the lemon uh, goes into my dressing. So I make my own dressing every time. So I put that juice in there, extra virgin oil, olive oil or sunflower oil, uh, and pepper, a little bit of salt if you want to, if not, that's great and some seasonings, dry seasonings, mix it up and there you go. So this is another source of vitamin C and many more. I'm actually gonna do a separate vlog about, about lemon water that I'm obsessed about right now and it's so good for your health. So I'll do a little bit more in depth on that. So stay tuned for the next vlog. So what's next in my, in my goodie bag? So healthy fats. Healthy fats help our skin to look luminous to look healthy because we need uh, a fat underneath our skin we have a layer of fat we need that that keeps our skin smooth as well so and as you notice sometimes we lose weight we find our skin is different when we lose weight and when we gain weight our skin is a little bit more plump so what i usually have in my ziploc bag I always have some nuts. I love nuts. You want to be careful with your servings. Just a handful is enough because it's quite intense with calories and stuff. But, and it's pretty fatty, right? So I usually have it in my stroller, in my diaper bag, before it was in my like, you know, purse. So whenever I'm hungry somewhere on the road, I have a handful and I know I had my healthy fats and it should be you know digested well and it's so tasty and then you're skipping on those unhealthy snacks that are luring when you're driving and you see mcdonald's and you see subway and you see you know pizza so this will keep you going until you get home for your healthy meal at home and the last one in my goodie bag for today is the tomato tomato is my favorite Mwah. i love tomatoes now, um, so tomatoes have this nutrient, um, I think it's nutrient, uh, it's lycopene and it's, it helps to fight free radicals and free radicals um, uh, over time can damage our collagen which supports our, our, the healthy look of our skin. So one thing about tomatoes though the lycopene gets um, digested better and absorbed better when we cook it. So it's nice to cook it and you're gonna get more. But I, you know, you can eat it raw as well, right? I eat it raw in my salads, but I love cooked tomatoes. I put them in, you know, cut them up, put them with a bit of a garlic. One thing we do, it's very popular in Russia, uh, scrambled eggs with tomatoes. So you, you know, um, uh, fry the tomatoes a little bit and then add eggs on, to make scrambled eggs with it. It's so good. And then you can make, of course, pasta with fresh tomatoes. Birds are flying there. Uh, and um, all kinds of things. And like, But usually popular is the pasta, right? So you can probably enjoy it with pasta. But tomatoes are my fave. I have them every single day, especially during the season. Now it's like, you know, farmer's time and we try to buy only our local foods and they're so tasty. And uh, with tomatoes, you know, I can just eat it like apple. But I like to have black pepper on it, maybe a little bit of salt if I feel like it. And it's so good. So I think that's about it. Ah, I did it finally because I was so worried that I promised it a while ago and it just didn't have the right moment and 
it was rainy on the weekends and I was planning to do it on the weekends but anyway stay tuned for more um, this type of uh, videos the next one maybe I'll try to do the next one about the lemon water because I love it so much and it has so much goodness in it so maybe I'll do it um, either on my what I ate today video or maybe just a separate post for that please subscribe to my channel and like my video and I will be grateful and hope to see you soon bye I also wanted to add that I post my salad recipes on my Instagram so go ahead and find Ekaterina Hart on Instagram and you will get an access to free recipes of my recipes that I do pretty much daily see you soon guys bye